Okay, I'm Ryan for Ryan's Guitar Stuff. This is about my 12th time recording this, and I'm getting a bit fed up. So, yeah, American Strat. Yay. So, today's video is an American Strat, as I have said. This is Candy Apple Red. It is a standard from about 2008 to 2010. It's hard to judge with sometimes with the serial codes, because um, they can overlap each year. This is a maple neck Strat with rolls of fingerboards, shallow tuners, but Fender written on them, because shallow make Fender tuners. Um, three single coil standard pickups, five right blades switch, um, one volume, two tones, back tones hooked up to the bridge pickup and the middle pickup. I think it's the middle pickup. Yep. Two wet, two point floating tram. It's locked down to the body because the person that owns this likes their tram locked down to the body and doesn't really use their tram that much. Work that has been done to this, um, as you can tell, the bridge pickup is not in the right orientation. It originally came with the white pick guard, the owner swapped it for a black uh, black pick guard with silver flake in it. It was not didn't suit it that well. And then I wanted the white one, didn't have the white one anymore, so I got a white one. But it was the Jimmy reverse bridge pickup, so that's in it now. Going through the sound demo, it's going through a Vox AV30 with all the tube stuff switched on. Clean to gain about 10 o'clock and EQs at noon. So let's hear that how that sounds with this guitar. Really nice sounding strat. Um, bridge is very pokey as you kind of want on the strat. Next, nice and rounded. Yeah, uh, just to demonstrate how the tone's wired up on this. Back tone is for your bridge pickup. Middle. Well, that's in between. Middle. And your neck is on the dedicated tone. So if I went back one step and went to the neck and middle, and then had the tone off the, on the neck, but all the way up on the bridge. So I can see here that the tone is affected. It's nice that it affects all pickups. So. Yeah, that's been the American Standard from 2008 to 2010 around. I can't remember the exact year this was made. I'll try and find out in the meantime and stick it up on screen. So yeah, I've been Ryan for Ryan's Guitar Stuff and see you next time. Bye.